Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today I have 2009 Toyota Corolla and this one it's in some rough shape. Poor baby. And she's running rough on top of it. The reason she came today is because the engine was running rough and there was a check engine light on. Uh, people, the owners, left her in the driveway and said message the keys there and there and she's running okay today. Cannot duplicate but the check engine light is on. So I started her up outside Look at these details, collapse switches inside. I started her up outside and she was running perfectly. The engine was running absolutely perfectly. So I put her here, shut her down, brought my little scanner just for engine. There's the OBD2 port. Don't look for it under, it's right here. I scan her and there is only one code and the code is p0352 ignition coil b primary slash secondary circuit malfunction i also have removed the cover that wasn't missing so let's go and see what we can do with her let's see if the malfunction is back or the code will show up I want you to listen to the engine. Very low miles. 113,000 miles on the odometer. You can see it right there. The idle will nicely go down. I'm sure it will. The engine oil sticker is passed. So they already are yeah almost thousand miles we think like for, yeah 50 more miles and it will be thousand miles past the next service required so as you can see she's not getting much attention also one thing i would like you to consider when i grab the owner's manual it says here, do not remove from the vehicle. The vehicle is owned and operated by the Hertz Corporation, which means she was previously the rental car. And as you can imagine, these get abused. So, why am I bringing it up? Well, because everything is important, isn't it? Will you not say if the engine is running at this second perfectly. Now we had that one coat and one coat only. Which coil do you think it is related to? As we know, where is the front of engine right here? We will be calling the cylinder number one, two, three and four. Uh, looking together on the wiring, it's fine. But the code is specifically telling us that there was malfunction detected within or inside of the key ignition coil. But which one? Because the code is P0352, it will be related number two ignition coil in the number two cylinder. I went ahead and vacuum all the debris so she's more presentable for filming. Some of you are already saying, hey Peter, you just posted another ignition coil problem on the Sienna. Is it maybe part of the year when temperatures changed and everything's getting wet? And nasty, the weather overnight, is that maybe a reason? The next videos will be all about the ignition coils. 
I can see you are paying attention. Very good. Generally, ignition coils malfunction or show the weakness when they are, when they are hot at the hot running condition. So none of us is surprised that we cannot duplicate it today, this morning, when the engine was started up locally here, cold, and came here probably short distance because these are local people. I just marked all of them. So we can pull all of them out and we can have fun looking at them. Here are the famous tabs, which always stop pulling that connector. Sometimes if you push it's not enough. So I help myself with this tool. These ones, not like on the Sienna I filmed and posted just days ago, these steps are not damaged by the heat and they didn't break. On that Sienna it was opposite. When I squeezed the tap on that connector right here, it immediately broke. And that's normal on them. This VVTI also need to be disconnected to not damage it when you are getting that 10 millimeter bolt 10 millimeter right here and we will see the first ignition coil voila here she comes we said our target is number two but this is guys oem toyota this coil was never replaced and came with the vehicle. There's no oil inside of the tube. So let's pull them out and see. Observing the coils, the ignition coils. One, two, three, four. You can start laughing because Peter is wrong. Toyota, aftermarket, Toyota, Toyota. So number three, somebody was playing with this already. Doesn't look old. I don't see any brand on it as the aftermarkets are. So we can see someone was dealing with it in the past. However, we have a problem on two, not on the three. What's about the spark plugs? How do they look like? How the spark plug in number two looks? Will it differ from the others? Let's go and see. And you want to eliminate the problem, you can always take the one from the number two, put it on the number three, mix, it, mix them, correct? And then go driving and see if the coat, the next coat you will read, if you have a malfunction, you, the coat needs to move to the three. And that just shows you the coil is bad and you have confirmation in our case oh hopefully they didn't have the aftermarket one on the two and they did move it just to do this and they forgot to tell me that will be not fun so oh, it's on the white side kind of it's not the ashes but it's definitely have white surface on number one. These are the thin ones, so you need a 14 millimeter spark plug wrench. Long thread. And how is two? Will it differ? Is it identical like the other ones or there is a problem on that cylinder? Well, it looks pretty the same. And again, the computer tells us that the problem is with the ignition coil, not with the cylinder. We are also checking if there are correct spark plugs. Many times some service will put some very cheap auto light because they can buy them for three, four dollars. But these ones are Toyota Denso SC. 20 HR11 
that's correct spark plug I'm pulling the correct ones out and they're expensive they're at least 15 bucks plus tax or more yeah also slightly white tip looks pretty okay if you can see all of them out and basically the tips and the spark plugs are identical the problem clearly just occurred on this vehicle therefore the number two cylinder the spark plug looks like the other ones and uh, there's not a problem in the color of the tip and so on now what are we going to do with this we check the wiring harness the connector for possible damages but everything seems to be fine we don't have a leaking oil in the tubes due to the failing tube seals so this is fantastic everything is good pretty typical for this to ZRFE engine these are very good engines in my opinion extremely low maintenance I'm surprised that they have a problem with the coil normally they last longer however yes okay it's possible that at this mileage relatively low mileage there will be some repair needed fortunately on this vehicle the access it's immediate it's not like on that CNL let's compare it when the rear bank towards to the cabin there's a lot of labor involved just to get there so this is absolute opposite of the Siena V6 to GRFE this is a breeze very easy access and also and I got approval for spark plugs and the coils now spark plugs are SC20 HR11 as we discussed from then so they were readily available either at the dealer or the aftermarket supplier as we said they are like 17 bucks dealer I believe ask 18 plus I have two there already I'm distracted by the camera um, it's a 17 or 18 plus tax so the spark plugs are clear but now listen what's up with the coils we had a huge earthquake this morning 7.0 I believe it was actually located right outside here so this building shook a lot but nothing got damaged everything's fine even the neighbors shop which you can hear always they had a big FedEx on the up on the lift they saw it shaking but it didn't fall off nothing happened so we are very lucky this time everything's fine but I couldn't reach the dealer they said because the tsunami warning right they said oh two hours break we have to wait it out so they did then I reached them the coils aftermarket are not available it's tomorrow and they cost roughly 70 80 bucks a piece then I finally reached Toyota and he said oh I'm looking looking I have only two I don't have all four I have only two and then he tells me the price is like 180 so I thought they are cheaper I was completely wrong mistake it's the same like on that Sienna but now what's coming he said they were on back order and they are coming from East Coast to the West Coast so the OEM coils it will be here somewhere in the middle of next week it's a Thursday today the remaining two OEM Densos almost five six uh, working day out so uh, we are getting for this with a limited lifetime warranty the owner said my budget allows for the aftermarket uh, I have to wait for it until tomorrow 
Meanwhile, I need to move this car because I need a lift already this afternoon. So uh, this is the situation. This gives you idea how it is sometimes in this automotive business. Not all the time. You can go ahead and buy all OEM. This is what was overnighted. And this is what was available for this Corolla. For those detail-oriented folks, this is how it comes. The coils are packed in the individual pouches. I guess as expected, it comes with the boot. Here, this seal. It has the Walker logo right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah. It looks pretty close to OEM. Let's see how it will fit in. Let's start with four. Yeah, it's nice and tight. How is the connector? That clicked nicely. Here comes the bolt. Here you can see it in the detail. So I will go ahead and install the rest of these. Here are the final results. I better don't forget this cover. Ideally before starting it's good to erase the coats. Oh, this is funny key. Okay. If the link it and I was moving it there should be code for that coil so we will get rid of it I was moving it with the old ones before overnighting uh, the parts so now I can turn it off never remove it from vehicle when the ignition is on and we will start it Let's see how it drives, how it runs, excuse me. Oh yeah, the idle is high as expected. It always will be if you do these repairs and erase the computer and so on. But look at it. That's a perfectly running engine. There's no hesitation. Actually, when I was moving it yesterday to just put it on the side, it first time showed up the problem and triggered that check engine light and that one coat. So I saw that hesitation. It was running very rough in those moments and it was intermittent. Then I started it one more time and it was gone again. So it was interesting. But yeah, this is it. This is fixed. Our new coils, I will say this should last for another 100,000 miles without any hesitation. That's what I will expect from it. I hope many of you will find this video helpful. If you do, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.